Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I haven't decided what I want to do yet for a video today, so I just went ahead and broke out one of my daggers and uh, I picked the RAD and list the main hewer to show you. So let's jump in here and show you this real fine dagger. All right, first I'm going to show you this book here. Collector's Handbook of World War II German Daggers. It was written by Lieutenant Colonel Thomas Johnson. And open it up, and it was copyrighted in 1979. Then we go here to the R.E.D. Unless the Man Hewer. Tell us the organizational facts, and this dagger was uh, adopted in 1934. Description on it, and right there you can see the blade motto, which is uh, right there. And here's a picture of in there, and the value of the dagger is very good. $225, excellent was $275, and I met one was $350. And then as you come down here, if you want the uh, hanger with it, it was a very good one was $85, an excellent one was $125, and I met one went for $165. And then as I turn the page here, you can you can see the uh, RAD guys wearing them. And on this page, there's another one, picture of him wearing the dagger. That's not a bad book. A friend of mine gave me that when I bought the dagger off of him. All right, and now for the dagger with a hanger. Paint's just perfect on this one. You can see it's got the stag grips on it. No cracks or chipping in the handle. Real fine detail engraving on that. Now we'll take a look at the other side. Paint's just perfect on the back also. And I'm missing a screw right there. A lot of people tell me I'm missing a screw. All right, now I'll show you the blade on it. All right, now we'll take a look at the blade here. Arbite Adelt. Blade's just got a few scratches on it, but that's just from going in and out of the scabbard. All 
Now we'll flip it over here and show you the other side. Comes to a nice point. Now we'll take a look at this maker mark. And it's made by Carl Eichhorn. RJD and Gash Gash. All right, as you can see, it's uh, flat on one side and comes to a point on the other side. That's the uh, way the blade is. It, it only goes in in one certain way. Now we'll take a look at the hanger here. And as you can see, it's a spring activator right here. Push that down and it will go right in there on the scabbard. But I don't see any markings itself on the front or back of this hanger. Some of these hangers you buy for these daggers cost more than a dagger itself. There's the back of this. And here's the back of the clip. You can see right there on the left, Aspen marked. A and S and right there's RS whatever that is 37 that was the year that was made and we'll take a look at it one more time Yeah, I bought this from my friend. It was uh, in the early 2000s. I've had it about 20 years. Back when you could buy them, you know, reasonable price. Well, that's it. Uh, I just noticed I had to retake this video because it made a couple mistakes in it. So uh, I forgot to put the mic back on. So I hope hope the volume is all right on this all right if you like that video please hit the like button ring that notification bell and please subscribe to my channel until then see you on the next video have a good week